Hello guys, Dina tonight here, and today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make tarot set, and where you can get the mats, and where you can find the boss, where is it located, so if you guys are interested in that, keep on watching the video, and enjoy! Alright, so today I'm gonna explain to you guys how to make tarot set, and where you can find the bosses, okay? So, first off, I just like to tell you guys that there's a lot of tarot bosses, okay? So if you guys want to see all the tarot bosses, you just have to press L and then go for the history and then go world monsters, right? And then you just have to drag here and then you can see all the tarot bosses. So starting with Tarot Hermit. Over here, if you right click him, then you can see the description of Tarot Hermit. It says here that it's level 93 and you can find him at Blood Soak Bay in Time Rip, right? And it only spawns every Thursday and Sunday. And these are the things that you guys can get on him. And then when you put the curses on it, then you can see all the drop that you guys can get on the box itself, right? So in it includes the materials for you to make um, tarot sets, okay? So it says here you can get Tarot King Hermit Wisdom, Guidance, Footsteps, Decision, and Direction, right? And then you can also get Tarot Metals. Tarot Metals is also one of the materials you need to have to make a tarot set, okay? Alright, so the next boss is Tarot Demon. So you just have to right click it, then check whatever you guys can get in there. There's a lot of tarot bosses in here, I'm not gonna... Um, explain each and every one so if you guys want to know what the tarot set um, does then you just have to go at archives and then go for the yellow drag it for a little bit and then you guys can see there you go this is what tarot lover um, does so it's like 50 strength and evade for 35% Vite increase for 50, physical defense, magic defense increase for 15%. This is actually so good if you are P leveling in mutated dungeons, especially in MFT or MBK. So as you guys can see, if it um, if the five pieces activated, it will give you three triple damage on the mob itself. That's why if you guys see my P leveling guides in my all in all of the guides that I'm making in MBK, if you guys notice that I'm only one doing one endless assault and everyone dies, it's it's also because of the tarot set that I'm using. Okay? So people usually have two one or two tarot set in, in each account. So it's either tarot lover or tarot hermit. But Tarot Hermit is much expensive because the the feet or the boots itself is very expensive. It's hard to get, especially the materials. But I think Tarot Hermit is much um, opier than the Tarot Lover. But it's just that Tarot Hermit is more on DPS, and Tarot Lover is for you know tank, yeah, for defense. Alright, but it, it has the same effect when it comes to 5 pieces of, if you wear 5 pieces of the sets. Right, so where do you where do you find all the bosses? Well, it says here in the history, it says here that you guys can find Tarot Hermit in Blood Soak Bay. So what exactly is the time that you guys can see Tarot um, Hermit? Well. I would have to be honest with you. There's uh, there's three um, ways for you to see the location or wh which time you guys can see the tarot hermit or the tarot lover or the tarot bosses where to spawn or what time it will spawn. It's supposedly in GF database and in here in activities you just have to go in page two and then here. You guys can see the time where it spawned, but it's just that I noticed some day, some some sometimes I I really noticed that the time in here is not really accurate and kind of not true. I don't know. I feel like it's not true. I think this is the second time that the tarot demon will will spawn, and then this is the second time that tarot lover will spawn. But 
I don't know if it's really accurate, but I don't think that they give the right time because possibly Terror bosses spawn two times um, Two times when for example in Friday they spawn two times, okay? So yeah, they don't give the the two times of the spawn time unlike the illusionary they give the exact time where they will spawn but in GM database it's also the same I don't think it's accurate or I don't think they fix it but the most accurate time where you guys can see or check where the tarot bosses um, spawn is in discord so all you have to do is just go to GF um, website and then in the left side of the screen you'll be seeing GF discord you just have to do join you just have to join GF Discord. You guys can see all the announcement of the GM in there. And especially, you guys can see a thread there where you guys can see the time where Tower Bosses spawn. And the good thing in there is that it's also converted in your time. So you can you can check if you can kill that boss in that time or the second time that it will spawn. But the name of the thread is Tarot Kings, so you just have to check check out the Discord for you guys to be um, preferred when the Tarot bosses spawn, okay? So if you guys want to farm these bosses, then you have to check Discord wh which time they spawn, okay? But I'm going to tell you guys where, where, or what is the other option for you guys to get the Tarot pieces, where... Well, sometimes in the, the M-Play table, um, they put the tarot pieces in the table itself. Well, today it's double or nothing, so it, the tarot hermit is nothing in there. But sometimes, DM or the GS or, wait, CM, yeah, CM put the tarot pieces in the table itself. So, if that happens, then that's the time that you have to buy that specific pieces, so you guys don't need to farm any any um tarot tarot metals or tarot uh, materials because it's really 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 hard to do but yeah if you have nothing to do then you can farm you have you have a lot of patience then go ahead and farm the tarot bosses but yeah for example assuming that you have all the materials for for example tarot, tarot hermit and then you wanted to to make it Alright, so I have here some tarot hermit um, scrolls here. The scrolls can be can be obtained also on the boxes itself, okay? So you really don't have to worry. The boxes that I'm talking about is this one. So how can you get these boxes? If you try to kill tarot hermit or you just try to damage tarot hermit, they will give you the boxes. So it depends if you kind of damage him um, more than they give you two and if you kind of damage them like once only then they, they will just give you one and sometimes they don't give you boxes okay so make sure you damage tarot hermit um every time he spawn okay because there will be a lot of people killing tarot hermit so yeah good luck to you guys <laughs> well okay so assuming that you got this okay so it says here that for you to make a Tarot Hermit Silence, then you need Tarot Hermit Wisdom times 5 and Tarot Metal times 25, right? So all you have to do is just go to Alchemist, perform an alchemy, and then, yeah, put the blueprint in there. There you go. And it says here that you need Tarot Hermit Wisdom, right? So the problem is, the problem is, is that I don't have a wisdom. I need one more wisdom and then I need 25 more tarot metals. So basically, I have to farm it. Or you guys can buy in trade chat or in the auction house. It, it costs for like 300G. Yeah, to, to 350G. Tarot metals, okay? But for tarot hermit um, materials, it ranges for 10 to 15K because tarot hermit like i said tarot hermit is really op that's the opiest tarot uh, set that you guys can get okay so yeah it's so expensive so i got here tarot shelter well i got the ch tarot what is this tarot guidance i have times five but i don't have tarot metal so i probably should just 
you know, buy tarot metals and then make it. But if you're gonna like this, make sure you use Blessed Alchemy, okay? Because if you don't use Blessed Alchemy, there's a chance to fail. There's a chance to fail the alchemy and tendency you will lose all the tarot metals and the materials itself and the blueprint and you will go back to zero so we don't want that so make sure to use the BAC or blessed alchemy clover don't use any low level of blessed alchemy just use bless I mean low level of alchemy clovers just use blessed alchemy clover it costs for like 900g to 1k nowadays okay so it's really cheap so you can afford it but yeah that's basically how you get um or how to make the tarot set i hope that explains very well to you guys and if you have any follow-up questions regarding this just let me know in the comment section below or message me in game but yeah if you think this video helped just give me a thumbs up share this video comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much and i'll see you again next time bye